Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Salas and in this video I'm super excited because we are reviewing the Turner CNC Jackalope XL. This is a knife that has been a steady part of my everyday carry and I'm super excited to share the review on it. We're going to go over the pros and the cons in order to help you decide if this might be worth adding to your everyday carry. Before we get started make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said let's cut into it. Probably like you, this was a blade that I saw online and I liked the overall shape and aesthetic of it, but I wanted to get it in my hand first before I really committed to it. And let me tell you, this is a knife that I wish that I got sooner. This comes in with an overall length of 7.75 inches. For me and what I'm looking for in an everyday carry fixed blade, that is perfection. The blade length comes in four inches long and it is comprised of CPM 3V blade steel. I am a big fan of CPM 3V already, but the heat treat and tempering cycle that they do to this blade brings it to a whole other level. For me, in my experience, it has the perfect blend of edge retention and toughness with a Rockwell hardness of 60 HRC. This means it's not gonna be overwhelming to sharpen. And talking about maintaining your blade and sharpening, the initial sharpness on this is legendary. It's not like one of those overly polished production style edges that come from a factory overly buffed. This has that perfect blend of bite and polish. So if you had to slash through a leather jacket, this thing's going deep. Something that also helps with that cutting geometry, because these are 3D CNC milled, it actually has a subtle hollow grind to this blade shape. It's not overly hollow to where it creates something that you might worry about being brittle. It's the perfect refinement of a thin edge, but tough enough to do a lot of those outdoor and more heavy duty torquing activities. Again, you always wanna be mindful using your blade for what it's intended for. I'm just saying this can handle a little bit more. Something I really enjoy with the design of the spine of this blade is that they kept the initial thickness all the way through to the clip point starts, allowing your thumb to find a comfortable resting place to increase your slashing and thrusting capabilities. They really did a great job on the ergonomics of this blade. Further adding to the well-designed nature of this blade, as it tapers towards the tip, there's another perfect resting place for your index finger for any of those more detailed cutting tasks. And when your index finger is along the top of that blade, it really becomes an extension of your hand and extremely comfortable to use. Now let's talk about the handle because this has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. There's multiple different options that you can go with. We have the black G10, the natural G10, and I believe they also are offering Ultim now. The handle allows for a variety of comfortable grips from standard hammer grip, even in the reverse grip especially, but also some subtlety ones that you may not have considered, such as like a pull cut. And helping deploy this blade is these flared outlets towards the back that help your fingers get hooked in and align the top of the thumb for those repeat thrusting package opening activities. It is a full tang blade, but there is a cutout inside of the handle and you can unscrew these handle scales using a penny in order to reveal a hidden cavity. If you're using this for an everyday carry, you could possibly toss in some lock picks, cash, bartering materials, or any other accoutrements that you may need. If you're looking for something in an outdoor adventure setting, you can throw in a ferro rod, a mini survival kit, and you can get creative as to what you want to store in the handle. This is such a badass feature that I wish more knives had, but I'm really glad that this Turner CNC Jackalope XL sports that because it just kind of adds to the versatility and overall functionality of this blade. And I can hear some people going like, well, why would you hide a handcuff key in there if your blade gets taken? Well, it's nice to have those options, isn't it, Bob? This also comes equipped with a weight of 3.66 ounces and is expertly balanced. The sheath design is minimalistic and lightweight and it comes standard with an IWB soft loop so you can carry it scout carry kind of front or back and you can also rock that vertically if you wanted to. But I went ahead and made some modifications to this in order to fit my carry style. And that would probably be one of the few things that I would do to enhance this blade is add a couple more eyelets on there. I had to drill my own in order to fit a discrete carry concepts clip. But overall, if you know how to work a drill, you're gonna be just fine. Some things I really enjoy about this sheath is that the cutouts align your hands so you can get a full on combat grip and deploy your blade without having to readjust it once it gets out. Reinserting it into the sheath is so simple because it has this large cutout and a wide mouth, allowing it to easily go in. As soon as you go to insert the blade, you're met with a little bit of resistance, but it is so smooth and it snaps into place with incredible levels of retention that may be surprising because it's so smooth to put in. I hope I'm putting that into words correctly. It's amazing the way that they were able to do this sheath design. I've said it before in the initial overview of this blade and it has held true through everything that I put it through. If I could only carry one knife for the rest of my life, it would look pretty dang similar to this. Really with regards to the blade, the only enhancement I would do is maybe extend this initial choil a little bit more. So if using it in a variety of different grips, you're not met with the edge of that handle. But other than that, this thing has impressed me beyond belief. Did I mention the handles glow in the dark? They glow in the dark. 
I don't care how old you are, if anything glows in the dark, it's freaking cool. I also like this for outdoor ventures that if you do lose your blade or set it down somewhere, you can scan for it with a flashlight, turn it off, and it's gonna glow, making it easier to find if you drop it. The Jackalope XL has impressed me thoroughly in everyday carry cutting tasks, outdoor adventures, whittling, carving, chopping, and even splitting and batoning wood. It's proven to be quite durable, which also makes it amazing for emergency response. A little subtlety I wasn't gonna talk about, but I think is cool, is that the tip and the handle align, so it makes it great for fast target acquisition. I'm really hoping that they come out with a trainer like they did with the Elvia because I really like to deploy and practice with this blade. This Turner CNC Jackalope gets the 100% seal of Tactical Tavern approval, but let me know what are your thoughts on this blade in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this review or you found it fun, helpful, or entertaining, please make sure to drop a like, share it with a friend who may be interested, and make sure to subscribe for more Tactical Tavern. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Tactical Tavern. With all that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you again for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.